I want to start with a special thank you to the dads in our global community. And I want to extend beyond that to the women, the mothers in our community who has stepped up to play that role, to be that fatherly figure for the children in their life. And also, I want to thank my, our daughter and her wife and the rest of the LGBTQ community for saying the message that we hear is, I want to be involved. I want to raise a kid. I want to bring that character into this world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I became a father when I was 18. 1968. I was 18 years old, fresh out of high school. Was learning how to be an adult. Was learning how to be married. I had this little bundle put in my hands and said, have a good life. Had, was holding my daughter and had never changed a diaper in my life. What I learned right then was that it's easier, easier to become a father than it is to be one. But that was my job now. So two kids transition through life being the best me that I could be. I had influences on the kids and then other times I didn't so my job was to be the best me and 50 years later when I talk to other fathers we're always in agreement that we think we got it right about 50 percent of the time maybe half the time we just don't know which half it was but we we're going to take credit for that half and, but the validation for a dad, even after 50 years, you, you see your kids, but how much did you have to, and how did you affect them? And this past week, Maria and I spent a whole week with the kids, the grandkids, and our great-grandson, Jasper. And it was an awesome time, but the special moment was that my wife, who likes to make everything special in life, put everybody in a private room in a restaurant Thursday night, made it all special, but then she stood me up in the middle of the room, gave, every, gave a microphone and said, you can roast him or toast him. Roast him or toast him. And I got to hear from my kids, from my grandkids, how I had had an effect on their life. Thank you, Maria. So special to get that validation to get that, that hearing that, yes, I had an effect. And what I'm going to do here is to issue a challenge to everyone out there. Don't make this a happy Father's Day. Don't make it a hallmark moment. Don't make it that text, happy Father's Day to dad or to that significant person in your life who played that role. Make it special. Go within. As Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is within. Go within and find your character. Your character is who you are. It is what you are. It is how you live life. It is what you do. It is what you won't do. That all defines who you are. That's your character. And find something about your character that you love, that you really like, that you know that came from that dad, from that father figure, and tell them. Tell them, I love this part about me. I love it. I like me because of this. And I got it from you. Thank you. Make it special. And when you do that, you understand the saying, the Father and I are one. He <laughs> He knows where you got it. You now know where you got it. And you become that oneness. And then that unity. We are one. Have a special Father's Day. Thank you.